Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with a new modded assault rifle. Uh, this one actually replaces the uh, pearlescent rarity uh, assault rifle, the beer cat. And uh, it's time to get your party shoes on people, because look at this thing right here. Um, it is just an absolutely insane weapon. Um, it was designed for New Year, and obviously it is June right now. Uh, so I was a bit late to the party, so to speak, on that one. Uh, but I've just had so many modded weapon guides to cover and things like that. It's just so hard to get through them all. So I've stuck them all on a big list and didn't even realise until I've come to film this today that uh, it was actually made for New Year's. Uh, so yeah, maybe use it for next New Year's. Uh, it will soon be Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, go through Frostburn Canyon. Just killing people a little bit. This is a total and utter fun weapon just to uh, not take seriously. Uh, you've got to be very careful with it as well, which you'll see on multiple occasions throughout this video. Uh, but as always, let's start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description. That'll take you straight there. Or you can go ahead and navigate there yourself and look through uh, Dashiku's section. He is the guy who has made this. So go on to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 Mods, and then scroll down to Dashiku's section in alphabetical order under D. Then there are all his weapons. We've uh, already pretty much covered most of them anyway in our modded weapon guides. Click on the Firecracker. Right click uh, after you click it on the raw tab and save as uh, save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Remember what you've saved it as. Come into the game and then uh, open the console command menu and execute it as so and that will change your beer cat into the firecracker um, you can have this in multiple elements as you can see right here I have all four elements uh, as well as non-elemental of course as usual uh, so let's take a little look at the weapon in a bit more detail uh, we'll take a look at the shotgun right here this is the one that I've used in this video anyway uh, the red text says I love the smell of popcorn in the morning that's obviously to do with the sound uh, that it makes when going off and uh, you can see nice orange, black and blue skin for this one. Looks pretty nice actually. I really do like that colour orange. It's uh, fantastic actually. So uh, yeah, like you said, um, you, well like you can see, you can aim down the sight with a multi-burst of uh, actual bullets. Or you can just sit there and hip fire them as well. Um, you'll see that uh, you can actually use one ammo per shot when aiming down the sights. I believe it's um, a bit more of when... ADSing, uh, it tastes quite a lot more actually. When sorry, when not uh, when hip firing, um, but you can see the more you arc it, the further it goes, the higher it goes, that kind of thing. So you can pretty much uh, get some real good long range kills with this thing, but the accuracy is totally, totally terrible. The closer an enemy is to you, the more likely you are to hit them and hit them pretty damn hard as well. But you'll see very soon that when they are close your uh, bullets will bounce back on you uh, ricochet and uh, kill you yourself so be sure not to uh, put yourself down from it try and keep a safe distance from the enemies but as you can see right there I did do quite a long shot as well and uh, it actually came back on me uh, these are seeking bullets I believe by the looks of them you can see they go up and they, uh, they the track a little bit. I don't think there was much as some of the real, real good weapons that actually you can fire behind you and the bullet will hit uh, the enemy in front of you, kind of thing. But I do believe there's some sort of seeking or tracing um, intelligence to these bullets. Uh, like I said, though, at the beginning, this is more fun than anything. It is just a real good weapon to uh, to try and uh, master by, you know, shooting from different angles and things like that. Seeing how far you can get it how far the enemy is um, and things like that. It's quite a good panic weapon as well though if you've got a large mob of enemies all shooting at you and you just haven't got a clue what to do. You can turn around, like this Goliath actually as well It's a good example, you can turn around and very slowly hit fire him and he will go down pretty easily. But if you've got a large uh, area of enemies which you'll see coming up in a minute when I've cleared this little section here, we'll go down the bottom, there is a massive amount of enemies and I just sit there and spam the hell out of the fire button as well. So yeah, not the most tactical of weapons to use and uh, pretty overpowered when you actually do 
hit the enemies as well, you know, they can really take them down very quickly, but you've also got that risk factor of putting yourself down as well. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun to try and stay alive as long as possible. Uh, I do recommend having good um, spec PC though to use this as well, because uh, all these explosions and colours and things like that might actually kill a low spec PC, so just be careful of that, if at the very least you will get probably quite a bit of lag. Luckily for me though, I didn't have to experience any of that, so I could uh, enjoy the full range of the, uh, the firecrackers going off. Uh, but yeah, there you go guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Uh, really enjoyed using this weapon and uh, should have really done it six months ago, so I do apologise for that. But hey, maybe we'll get it out next Christmas and uh, just go around killing some enemies for it as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.